Books have been one of my main sources of materials for my work. I wanted the series to be an ode to the library, which has been my sanctuary, more so during this pandemic. During the beginning of the pandemic, the libraries and bookstores were closed. So it was more of a challenge for me getting new materials for my work. I was able to get some materials online like through Etsy and eBay. But of course, it's just not the same being able to hold the books in my hands. A big part of my work is about textures, the markings on the found materials which obviously is just that's just hard to see through online stores browsing through ebay etsy and thrift books all the other secondhand bookshops online so it was such a relief when they finally opened our local library to the public and also when they reopened the bookstores in the city I remember feeling it's almost like visiting a friend again when they reopened the library. The process in making the pieces, the sorting, cutting, and gluing on wood boards was just based on intuition. I didn't have any preconceived idea of what the final work will look like. I just wanted it to be about accretion, connection, and evolution. The title itself, Arcadia, refers to a place of simple pleasure and quiet, which is what getting lost in a book feels like to me. I worked as a library assistant at the International Center of Photography for several years. This is after I took a photography certification program in the city, and I loved being surrounded by all the books on art. It was such a treat for me to be able to connect the library patrons with the books that they are searching for. And sometimes it's an added bonus when I realize I help them discover artist books they've never heard of. This experience exposed me to a variety of art styles and gave me a glimpse of people from all walks of life. I've always been drawn to found objects. I love objects with history. The stories behind them make them interesting, and it's also fun to project my own stories on them. My childhood days were filled with hours at my Lola's ancestral home, which had a library of old books and medical instruments, because he was a doctor. And that house has been, has, it has long been gone, so there is a sense of nostalgia in a lot of my works. Thrift shopping is an enjoyable part of my work process as well. I try to visit flea markets and secondhand bookstores when traveling. As I mentioned before, I approach each piece with no preconceived notion of the end product. But sometimes, just a guide, like I know one will be in a grid, for example, and end up cutting and gluing the pieces together and removing and adjusting them as I go along. Sometimes adding paint or strips of paper, a line here or peeling off a book cover there, whatever feels like to balance the piece. It was a good exercise on both having control and letting go, which I guess is what life is all about.